Hey y'all, welcome to Burn Downs Country Kitchen. Today we are going to do fried pickle chips. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had them in a restaurant, but they are good. Uh, so our ingredients we're going to start with today, we have just regular pickles. These are just hamburger pickles, pickle chips is what they're called. Uh, we got our panko and we got two cups of flour, three eggs, and our bacon bits. We will put this in this. All right, let's get after this. I'm excited. So the first thing we want to do is dry our pickles off. It's not going to help them to be wet. It's not going to help anything to stick to them. So we'll just lay them out. Make sure we get them dry. See, like that. We don't need that. Just chug it. Just chuck it. Now we've got our pickles semi-dry. They don't have to be completely dry. Just you want to dab them off a little bit. We got our dredge station going. We always start with flour, then egg, then panko. But we do have bacon bits. Always fun to put stuff in the panko. And I've learned that that bacon bits really add to the flavor profile. So it's worth it. It's worth it. Cooks up nice in the fryer or grease, whichever. Let's just give that a little mix. Okay. Now it's got the bacon bits all throughout it. So basically we're just going to grab some pickles, get them in the flour, Get it mixed around real good. You want them covered. Every step of the way, we want to make sure they're covered really good. Whether it's the flour, or the egg, or the panko. So next, we'll go into the egg. Flip it around. Now you'll learn sometimes that when you take it out, all of a sudden you'll get a dry spot. You're gonna to want to put it back in. And then dump it in the panko. Make sure it's good and covered, like so. Put it on uh, some wax paper. I just got a sheet pan with some wax paper in it. On it, not in it. These are gonna be so good. I don't know if you ever had them, uh, but if you like pickles, Fried pickle chips are just really good. I actually ordered them at a restaurant a couple weeks back with my buddy Craig, and uh, he got the last batch. They ran out, so I never actually got any. I had a couple of his, but I was trying to wait on mine to come, so I didn't eat all his, and then they never came. So I've been wanting it ever since. We're gonna go ahead and do this now. A good time. Look, you can see the bacon bits in it, stuck to it. All right, I'm gonna get after this and uh, get a bunch done, and then I'll be back. All right, we got a mess of them made up. Uh, I'm gonna freeze most of these, but I am gonna go ahead and cook a few of them, and we'll call it a necessity for a taste test. Man, I've been looking forward to these. I got this set at uh, 340. 
Usually you want to do about 350 to 360, but uh, mine tends to run a little hot for some reason. Four, we'll do one more, we'll do five of these. For, for taste test purposes. Alright, do that. It shouldn't take too long. We just want to get golden brown. You can see them already. Let's get after this taste test. I've been wanting these for a couple weeks now. So. Mmm. Huh. Worth the wait. I cannot imagine the restaurants have been better than this. They didn't put bacon bits on it like we did. Man, it's so good. Look at this. Look. You see the bacon bit stuck to it? Ah, oh, it's got so much flavor. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love having you taste tests. Sorry about y'all, but I'm so ready by the time this is made. Because usually I've been thinking about it for a long time. And this is definitely that case. I am so happy I made this. Alright. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's easy. You should do it. Uh, cook something. Cook anything. Cook fried pickle chips. They are so good. Alright y'all. Till next time.